Hello and welcome to another episode of It's Science on BishopBJJ.com. Today we're looking at Ruben Cobrinha Charles. Some things just get better with age, and Cobrinha is absolutely no exception. Cobrinha was extremely dynamic. Pulling guard in 11 out of the 14 matches that we observed, he knew exactly what he wanted. He wanted to pull guard. And once he did, he was into his element. When his opponent was able to get the guard pull, it didn't necessarily work out for them either. Samir Chantry had to find this out the hard way at the 2012 Pan Ams. Once into the guard, there was no doubt that Cobrinha used a mix of Deli Hiva and sit-up guard to sweep his opponents rather quickly. He was normally the person that scored first in the match and was incredibly dynamic in how he was able to utilize the sit-up guard and Deli Hiva guard to pick the ankle or sit up to a single leg as you can see him kind of doing here in these clips. This may have been one of the most impressive observations and this may be a, a new element to his game that he's added in the last few years. But one thing is for sure, that this was a dynamic part of his game, and many, many of his opponents fell victim to this. And in fact, it actually gets worse from here. One of the mistakes that his opponents would make is they would start to fight these sweeps um, whenever he got them, and it would cause them to give their back. And one thing that we learned rather quickly was once Rubens Cobrinha Charles got the back, uh, there was no escape, not even the clock could save you because he was able to finish from the back uh, in five out of five of the times that we watched him get to this position in our short study, which is pretty impressive. Even though Cobrinha Charles did pull guard in 11 out of the 14 matches, and as silly as it sounds, one of the things that may have impressed us the most was his wrestling ability. His ability to come up from the guard and attack his opponents, and this is actually the reason why his opponents give him the back so often. Uh, is because of his wrestling. Whenever he got on top and he began to pass, he kept it pretty basic. He went with the knee through pass in five out of the six passes that we observed in the study. Uh, most of the time it was just critical knee cut through from a half guard type position and once he was able to get to these positions it was very difficult for his opponents to recover. He would either mount or go to the side control and in this case you're gonna see his opponent is gonna make the mistake of leaving his arm underneath his uh, opponent tipped too long, and Cobrini is going to decide he's going to take a uh, a triangle armbar from the side control position, um, kind of like his mentor Tay today uh, did to Marcelo Garcia long ago. Although Cobrini's reign atop the featherweight division uh, seems to have passed us, his skill and his ability seems to continue to get better. So it would be no surprise to us to see him be a world champion once again. Uh, in his mid-30s. 75% uh, of his wins are coming by submission in less than seven minutes and that's incredibly impressive for somebody um, in his masters and seniors years. so we certainly look forward to continued development and continued competition from Rubens Cobrinha Charles. Thank you for joining us on It's Science at BishopBJJ.com <laughs>